wanted to look at ultramarine violet PV15. Um, I have a few of them here. I really do love purples and violets. So we have six to compare today. The only differences are, so all of them are, have PV15 in them. All of them are called ultramarine violet, except this one. And I'll get to that in a second. Um, but Schmincke and M. Graham add ultramarine blue to their PV15. That's the biggest difference. Smalt is PV15. It is a Winsor & Newton pigment um, or paint. It's from that jewel tone line that they released, but it is blue like these two that have the ultramarine blue in them, or it's bluer, without being a dual pigment paint. So if you like the color of either M. Graham or Schmincke, and you want a single pigment, I would highly recommend small. I couldn't believe how much I loved it when it came in the mail. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of these guys. Oops, so sorry. Okay, so I used palette paper and just squeezed them all fresh. I just wanted to show you that um, they're all from fresh tube just so that they're the same. Sometimes when you're watching someone swatch out comparisons and something's from a dried pan that's been there for a long time and something's a fresh tube paint, that can make a really big difference. So I try to be consistent um, to make it fair for the colors and for you when you're looking at them because you can make things look a lot different if you want to. And I don't want to. I want them to look unbiased. Okay. Daniel Smith. And ultramarine violet is known for being a bit lighter. I thought that Winsor & Newton was going to be really light. Um, and I, I got it because of the granulation, but it turns out it's actually not super light, so I'm really, really happy with it. Okay, let's look at Da Vinci. Now this one is really dark. The Winsor & Newton is holding their own there. They're definitely redder. Next one, M. Graham. first. Okay. Now I can grab M. Graham again. And you can see how much bluer it is.
I really do like the blueness. It's pretty. I remember really liking Schminkos. Let's see if I still really, really like Schminkos. I do. It has that blueness of M. Graham, but it also has more granulation. At least it seems that way to me. How nice and straight I'm keeping these lines. Okay. And the last one. Okay, this is the small. So this is just PV15. It's actually even bluer than the M. Graham and the Schmincke. That worked a lot better with the water. So there are a lot of differences here, and I I do see more of a violet hue in the Schmincke. Um, the Da Vinci seems like it's right in the middle. I really like Da Vinci, and if you live in the United States, um, this is 37 ml. Here, I'll hold up a regular tube. And I think I got this for like $13 maybe um, at, I think it was Dick Blick or Joe's. I can't remember which one, but considering the price, I can kind of use it as much as I want. And it does granulate nicely. It almost looks like there's a little bit of pink underneath it, which is really, really neat. I mean, it's, it's a good solid pigment and it's, cheap if you can get it and it is still one of my favorites um, but it is really really you know dark for an ultramarine violet um, the Winsor and Newton one is pretty good too it's just it's a little redder and I, I like them a little bit bluer I would say Daniel Smith is definitely the lightest and for being Daniel Smith I would want at least more granulation so that the payoff of having a weaker pigment sort of made it worth, worth it, worth it, sorry. Just like their cobalt teal, it's expensive, but it granulates so well that even though it's weaker than other cobalt teals, there's a use for it because you can use it in mixing. And I just think it makes it a good color choice and a good reason to buy it. Whereas this, when I look at these, I don't feel compelled to pick Daniel Smith if I have these as the lineup. Um, Winsor & Newton is nice. It looks like it's blooming a little bit, but um, I would say it's probably the brightest. It almost reminds me more of a, like a dioxazine as far as the color, so I really, I, I like Winsor & Newton a lot, um, this pigment. 
I didn't used to like Winsor & Newton, and I've slowly grown to really like a lot of their paints, especially the newer ones that they've been putting out. And um, I wouldn't tell someone not to get this. I would tell someone not to get the Daniel Smith one. Um, the Da Vinci is nice and smooth and even, and I just think you could do great with mixing. You could use it for florals. I mean, it just performs wonderfully, and it's right where it should be for an ultramarine violet. M. Graham, um, I do like the M. Graham one. They went a little bit too blue for an ultramarine violet. That's just my opinion. Um, but there's certainly nothing wrong with it, and if you can get it cheaper than other ultramarine violets, I would say go for that one. Especially when you look at how much more it is to buy Schmincke, like if you're in the United States versus M. Graham. Because it is still really, really nice. Um, yeah, I would say the Schmincke and the Da Vinci I like for different reasons. It depends on if you want the blue one or this one. But this small has kind of blown my mind because I can have this perfect ultramarine violet now without having to have a dual pigment paint. So this would be my go-to. And then I would probably have to decide, do I want Schmincke or Da Vinci if I want one that's called ultramarine violet? But I could probably just go with this and maybe add the Da Vinci in if I wanted the more purple color. But, sorry, the violet one. But you just like you can add ultramarine blue to these, you can add violet to these. So, I mean, with mixing, I usually pick the color that performs in a way that I enjoy. Like I love Schmincke because it's nice and buttery smooth and it goes down exactly the way I like it to and it makes it a joy to paint. Um, like I mentioned the Cobalt Teal from Daniel Smith. I love it because it's one of the most granulating paints I've ever come across. So that's really really useful. So I look more for things like that than just color because with mixing you can take something that performs the way you want it to and then turn it into a color that is your perfect color. So just keep that in mind as you're shopping. Or not shopping, just... So let me show these to you up close. So that's Daniel Smith. And then, sorry, that's the Da Vinci. And the third one is M. Graham. And then Schmincke. It's like I'm trying to hit that. Okay. And then the Smalt. I really apologize. But yeah, you can see a lot of the granulation down in here. So those are my ultramarine violets, and I really hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and leave comments below if there are any colors that you want me to do a comparison of. I'd really love to hear your feedback. Thank you!